Let's create this mantle flow explosion effect in Blender using wet paint. First, add a plane and the UV sphere like this. On frame 10, select the UV sphere, press CZ to move it upward. Press K and add a location keyframe. Then on frame 20, move the sphere below the plane and add another keyframe. Next, let's set up the dynamic paint. Select the sphere, go to the physics tab, add a dynamic paint and set the type to brush. Now select the plane, add a dynamic paint, set the type to canvas, click add canvas, change the end frame to 50, set the surface type to weight, enable dissolve and set the time to 50. In the output section, click add to create a a vertex group. Now go into edit mode, right click the plane and select subdivide. Set the number of curves to 120. Next, add a subdivision surface modifier, set it to 2 and move it above the dynamic paint modifier. Let's bake the dynamic paint. Select the plane, go to the physics tab and click bake. Now switch to weight paint board, hide the sphere and scrub between the frames 10 to 20 to see the weight paint effect in action. Time for the explosion. Press F3 in the search, type quick smoke and add a quick smoke effect. Blender will automatically add a domain and set up the smoke. Adjust the domain size to fit the explosion. In the physics tab, set the resolution division to 128 under border collision check button enable adaptive domain in the gas setting set the vorticity to 0 0.250 enable dissolve and set the time to 32 and check noise under fire reduce the reaction speed to 0 0.35 in the catch setting set the in frame to 100 choose your catch folder and check is resumable now let's link the exclusion to the weight paint select the plane go to the physics tab and set the float type to fire plus smoke in the vertex group section select the group you created earlier enable each planer check initial velocity and set the z value to 12 it's time to bake the the explosion. Select the domain and click Big Data. This might take a few seconds or a minute depending on your PC. Once back, set up your scene, lighting camera for that perfect cinematic shot. Finally, add a fire shadow to the smoke. Here's the node setup I used. And that's it. Your weight painted explosion is ready to render. Follow Auto V for more.